just the other day I was discussing discussing fishing with a friend of mine and we were talking about catching white bass and he brought up a device called a thumper I had never heard of such so I researched it googled it and I came up with enough photos to make my own um, so here's what I have I've got a, a DIY thumper that I made out of some scrap aluminum uh, it works surprisingly well and uh, but I have not really tried it um, in a lake environment yet so I'm this morning I'm gonna go out and see if I can get some white bass to come surround this little boat I don't know if it will work with this we're gonna give it a shot I'm gonna bring you along with me so let's get out there on the water and uh, see if we can have a little success this morning I really got a lot of work to be doing right over there but uh, I'm kind of excited to see how this works it's not very often in the winter that you get a beautiful day like this without a lot of wind it is cold but the Sun is high and uh, the lake is calling my name what can I say <laughs> let's give it a shot all right we're on the water <laughs> even though it is a beautiful day in Texas sunny skies it's still cold I had to go turn around and go back and get my toboggan and some gloves so uh, being out here on the water running across here 20 25 miles an hour that north wind is chilly my main focus today for the short amount of time that I have is to try out this thumper see if I can get a in a school of, of whites or at least get I'm gonna find some shad is what I'm gonna do and then once I do that if I see a few stragglers of whites I'm gonna start thumping in this little boat and see if I can call them up and just do a video of what it looks like if they do come up it's winter time water temperature is about 48 <laughs> degrees uh, let's just see what happens ready I am hugging the bottom down there which are catchable uh, I've seen a school of shad or two <clears throat> there's one over there there's some shad along the bottom so this is a good spot in my opinion to try this thing out I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the battery cables and we'll power it on Got negative and I'm just gonna drift I'm not anchoring I can't anchor in this deep of water anyway I just have a little bright 15 foot anchor rope
that's two. So here's what I'm working with. Since I have turned this on, there have been just a nice school hanging around the bottom of the boat. And I, 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 the fish have been there this whole time. Uh, I just have not really found out what they want until hopefully now. So I'm gonna drop down another another bait and let's see if we've got them figured out.
today in retrospect anchor down stay stationary turn on the thumper you'll bring the fish in you can control your line you don't have that big long sweep in it you can jig it you got to kind of hand feed these things a little bit but since i've done that since i have positioned myself in one spot i have caught five in a row they're down there i'm going to continue fishing the battery's about dead next time i come out i'll bring another battery thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned because i might be selling some of these things we'll see y'all have a good weekend So what do I think about the thumper? Well, I think it works. This is a basket of fish to prove it. I could have kept more, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to clean that many. Um, I, learned, I learned a couple of things. All right, so I was trying to drift with this boat at first and just drop my bait down into the schools and catch them. I had way too much swag in my line, sag in my line, and it was, uh, it wasn't effectively getting down where I needed it to be to control the bait and everything. So once I anchored and put myself in a position to where I was stationary, the fish just kept coming around the boat and then you could jig and you could drop it down, you could you could present the bait to them in the best way possible. Um, that's when I started my catch rate went way up. It took a while also to experiment with baits. However, I did learn that my original choice was fine all along. Um, it just, it, it became more of the presentation of getting it down in front of them and keeping it in front of them. When their fish are cold this time of year, they want to look at it for a while i feel like <laughs> and it that, that that was that was the case you know um with me drifting it was just going by too fast and once i was stationary catch rate went way up so uh the thumper does work and here's why i know that i would turn it off and i would i would tie on a new bait because i was trying out different uh, lures lure choices everything i used today was um lures and i had no um no fresh bait no live bait if you will so everything was lures uh soft plastic swim baits small three inch profile and even smaller one and a half profile is what seemed to be and they ate uh, more times the smallest profile which is definitely understandable it's winter time um i'm cold folks <laughs> i'm telling you it's i'm thaw i'm thawing out uh, but I'm, I'm slow talking I'm slow moving right now um, the reason I know the thumper works is because I stopped several times would tie on another bait and I would turn it off just so I could let the battery let everything kind of rest not that it needed to but I just turned it off when I did that I noticed that the graph went quiet there wouldn't be anything on the graph as soon as I turned it back on and this only was noticeable when I was stationary as I was moving, I was going across schools of bait and schools of fish the whole time. You know, I did have the thing going, but in my mind, I was thinking to myself, okay, am I just passing over this much bait and fish, or is this actually attracting them? I wasn't really sure until I completely came to a stop and anchored down, and then I was able to see that, yeah, this thing is actually drawing the fish in. As soon as I would turn it on, it would go from an empty screen to fish coming up under the boat and they stayed under the boat i would adjust the tempo if it seemed like the the bite would die off after a little while and here they'd come right back um, i'm looking forward to experimenting with this more in the future putting more fish in the boat this is the first time on this lake that i've caught this many white bass this time of year uh, i'm excited about that so I'm about to go clean these and warm up. I've got a bowl of soup in there calling my name and then I'm gonna get the cleaning fish and do some work. So I ended up spending about three hours out there. So I got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Thanks for coming along and hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure and like and subscribe if you wanna watch more. I think that's all. My review is, it works. 
Y'all have a good weekend.